It's 2 a.m. as usual. Neither looking my best nor feeling my best, but certainly trying my best, so have a bit of compassion. <gasps> Can I just start by saying by finding a working live stream is a nightmare? <clears throat> it's literally a nightmare. This is the only one I could find, and I can't believe that I'm about to watch Miss World in 240p quality. Like this gown of Shudu has been so hyped by the Miss South Africa organization banner. Everybody has said it's one of the most beautiful gowns that South Africa has ever had. And we're viewing it in 240p quality. <laughs> If you guys didn't know, there is no official live stream for South Africa this year. None of our TV stations are broadcasting it or anything like that. So we have to rely on good civilians like this person on the internet to stream it. <laughs> okay, so the whole opening segment, this thing with the um, national costumes. Well, do you even call it national costumes? Whatever this is. This was pre-filmed, so it's not really that big of a deal that I missed some of it due to this live stream hunting. Good lord, lock up your husbands. Mongolia won the talent award with this and I mean, it does take a lot of strength to do that. Oh my gosh. Oh, see, this is what I annoy. This, this is what annoys me so much about Miss World is they waste so much of the pageant times just replaying and reviewing all fast track events that have already passed that we already know the outcomes of like just get to the meat you don't have to explain every single fast track event just get to the meat of the pageant if miss world didn't refocus on everything that has happened and didn't play so many ads and didn't try to like promote things so much the pageant would be so much more quick and to the point it's the 70th edition of Miss World and so far I have to say that the pageant just feels very badly organized. I mean there have been plenty of blunders with the host and the orchestra and timing with the music and the camera people so far and it's literally the first like not even half an hour and Oh, I'm just so disappointed at Miss World this year actually even because of the website like you used to be able to pay five dollars no matter where you lived in the world and then you could uh, live stream Miss World but they haven't even updated that yet it still says the 16th of December 2021 and I mean Miss World is supposed to be a prestigious pageant so what's going on? Oh my gosh, guys, like, I don't know how much of this footage I'm going to have to cut because it has literally been like an hour and the live stuff is just starting to happen now. Everything up until this point wasn't filmed live and I'm just, I'm in shock, honestly. They can't be serious with these contestant intros. Is this really how we're seeing the contestants in their gowns for the first time? I am in shock with how bad these intros truly are. I am not vibing with these intros honestly everything is so bad about this from the music choices to the the pressing shade of gray that the stage is the camera angles the way the women are like just walking as fast as possible it's just it's it's a no from me no really miss world the the girls deserve better than this they they really do Oh, Manasa looks so beautiful. I'm so sorry, Manasa. You deserve so much better than this. Here comes South Africa. Oh, the gown. The gown was not understated. I love this gown. It's truly fit for a queen, to be honest. And to be truly honest, it's way too good 
for this stage here comes Shri. You guys know I love Shri from the United States. I think she looks so beautiful and radiant in this golden gown. Ugh, I really do not vibe with them changing the music with each contestant. There are 40 contestants. You cannot do this. It doesn't work. You could have chosen one nice piano track and just had it playing while the girls were walking out and you introduced them. But this way, it's just, it's really distracting and it doesn't work for television. I understand that they are trying to show each contestant's country and culture and where they come from but it just does not work for TV and the production managers should have known that and seen that coming. Is this whole video just gonna be me complaining? Maybe. <laughs> oh just makes me so sad. These women are so beautiful, but them being so badly announced just makes me want to scream into the abyss. I'm a bit disappointed in Malaysia's gown, to be honest with you. I thought it was a bit ill-fitting. I am Janine Brand, representing the rainbow nation of Trinidad and Tobago. Listen to Trinidad and Tobago coming with the rainbow nation. Mm, South Africa, they're coming for our brand. By the way guys, today is Miss Supranational's 25th birthday. Happy birthday, Shawnique. It's the fact that they've had two and a half years to prepare, but they've given us this. Also, at this point, it's been an hour and nothing has happened. I could have literally woken up now and started watching now and not have missed a thing. An hour and a half in and nothing has happened. It bothers me a bit also that the orchestra seems to be the focus of the show. Like, why are they taking up 90% of the stage? And they've got the girls wearing black? As if this production wasn't depressing enough. They've got our girls on stage in black. You guys know how I feel about black on stage. You never wear black on stage. The point of being on a stage is to stand out. Um, black doesn't do that. And this music makes me feel like I'm at an auction or in an elevator. Miss World, who is your production manager? Fire them. Okay, so the digital media winner is Vietnam. And uh, she just said that she's happy to make top 12. So I guess we're starting now. <laughs> announcing top 12, which is exciting, finally. Mexico. I knew Mexico would made it would make it because she did really well in all of the fast track events. But wow, she is really nervous. Mexico is extremely nervous, it looks like. Northern Ireland! This is exciting. Oh, she's just adorable. I've said this in some other Miss World videos that I've made in the past. I think Miss World Ireland, or Northern Ireland rather, is just simply adorable. The Philippines, of course, of course, wouldn't be a Miss World Top 12 without the Philippines. Oh my gosh, the stream literally just stopped out of nowhere. What's going on? What's going on? <gasps> People in the comments are saying that it's sabotage. <laughs> Guys, this is why I have sort of a love-hate relationship with Filipino pageant fans. Because you guys are so supportive of your contestants, but you're also crazy sometimes. Okay, you have to admit. Okay, we're back. Poland. I didn't have Poland in my top, but I know that a lot of people loved her. She was like on the fringes of my top 12. Oh, Somalia. This is exciting. This is exciting. An African country. I think the first African country to make top 12 um, in, this, in this year's competition. Oh, she is so nervous. You can just tell with that little giggle. I think she herself can't believe that she made it. <gasps> United States! Ah! Oh, 
you guys know I love Shri. Um, she's my second runner-up in my prediction video. I adore Shri Sienya. I think that she's just the most beautiful, philanthropic person. Columbia! I also knew she was a favorite. Uh, Werner and Stephanie Veal from South Africa talked earlier in their live streams about how they liked Columbia a lot. So I was expecting her to make it, although she wasn't in my top 12 personally. Oof, guys, there's only four spots left and we're missing South Africa, Venezuela, India. Oh, absolutely nerve-wracking. Czech Republic? Oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting that. I'm, I'm really getting nervous now. France! Number 11 is France, guys. Oh my god, okay, listen, I... I liked France a lot. I've always she's always been in my peripheral, but with India, Venezuela and South Africa left, I I thought maybe France's time was over. There's only one spot left and I'm literally shitting myself, guys. It's it's not a joke. This is no breaking. Oh no, there are two spots left. Okay, India. Okay, thank goodness India made it because she is one of the best. She's my first runner-up actually in my prediction, so good thing she made it. Okay, lastly, 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 lastly. Indonesia. <laughs> Listen, okay, I know how my face must have just looked, but Indonesia. <laughs> I am shocked. I'm shocked. This is like Miss Universe 2020 all over again. Indonesia. Okay. <clears throat> wait, wait, something's up. There's a tie. You guys better stop playing with me, <laughs> to be honest with you. Giving me hope. Cote d'Ivoire. Okay, this is deserved. This is this is deserved, um, but is it a three-way tie? Can we maybe have South Africa as well, please? But like, I know the top six will be five handpicked by the judges and then one Beauty with a Purpose winner. And since Shurufadzu was one of the six Beauty with a Purpose finalists, could she still be? that one beauty with a purpose winner or will that beauty with a purpose winner have to come from these 13 i wonder i'm a bit confused on that so venezuela is out south africa is out new plan uh we've got cote d'ivoire who i love united states definitely as well as india and i also tolerate <laughs> I shouldn't use the word tolerate. I also like Poland and Northern Ireland, but I would prefer the next Miss World to be either United States or India, if I'm being honest with you. Okay, so right now we're announcing the Beauty with a Purpose winner. This is what I was confused about. Um, yeah because this person goes to top six. I still can't believe that Shurufatsu didn't make top 13. Like, raise your hand if you've ever been personally victimized by Julia Morley. Oh my gosh, what the hell just happened to this freaking live stream? I missed the entire top five announcement. I am so over Miss World. <laughs> and this live stream okay so i just found out that top six united states won the beauty with a purpose thing which i am so happy about other than that we have poland northern ireland indonesia cote d'ivoire and also mexico <laughs> i think that shri from the united states is so deserving of the beauty with a purpose award you guys know that i have been ranting and raving about her Philanthropy, so definitely very deserving. I'm annoyed. Can you tell? Okay, we're doing something nice for Ukraine. And this man is apparently running for president in the US or something like that. And um, 
yeah, by the way it talks, it's kind of obvious. Uh, the lady doth protest too much. Yes, Tony, please bring some beauty to this drab event. The performance wasn't entirely perfect, but at least it was heartfelt and beautiful. <laughs> they had the audacity to use Stephanie's footage after everything that happened. Listen, I'm not going to get into it, but if you know, you know. That was a nice little video. Thank you, Stephanie. Oh, I think Tony must be very emotional. Girl, I would be too. After two and a half years of being Miss World, I'd be like, thank God. Thank goodness I'm done. I'm out of here. Gonna have to change that tomorrow. Okay, time for final Q&A. Good luck, girlies. It feels like I've been sitting here for five hours. What have we learned from the COVID pandemic? Good evening, all. I've learned from the COVID pandemic that we can always try harder to be better and to improve in life. During the COVID pandemic, I think we all went through a lot, but the most important was to try to push through and to always try to find a solution because I believe that in life, it's not about falling, but it's about every time you fall to be able to get back up. I think Cote d'Ivoire gave a really nice answer. I love the sincerity in her voice. You guys know how I feel about that. Can we ever overcome inequality? Sorry, excuse me. Could you repeat it one more time, please? Thank Certainly. You. Can we ever overcome inequality? Yes, absolutely. I do think we can overcome inequality by respecting each other between women and, women, women and men. And I do think that equality will submerge if we keep each other and we keep respecting each other, our presence and the way we think. And that is why I think that we can overcome if we are joined together and we, we can overcome it. Thank you. Indonesia didn't give the smoothest answer, but I can see what she was trying to say. Which human right do you value the most? Can you repeat the question, please? Of course. Which human right do you value the most? Which human right? Human right. I didn't write it. <laughs> Just making sure. Um, the human right that I value the most is dignity because when we listen to other person's perspective we're able to communicate with them find their problems and give them solutions so it's very important that we see everyone as equal even if they live in places or are in situations where they aren't blessed with the basic rights of shelter food water healthcare. We need to give the gift of dignity and listen and provide solutions. And that is exactly the work that a Miss World does. She helps communities around the world by giving resources and aid. And it would be my highest honor to be your ambassador for Miss World. Shree's answer started off a bit iffy but i feel like it built momentum and she ended it really really strong question please certainly the next question is nelson mandela said that miss world was the most important event in the world for empowering young people to be of service to their communities how was miss world empowered you well i would say that i have learned a lot from being at Miss World, from being a part of this experience. It has been absolutely incredible. I mean, I, this has been, I was just, I'm a primary school teacher in Northern Ireland, a little country girl, and now I'm standing on the Miss World stage here in front of all of you. It's absolutely <laughs> crazy. But no, I think it's just, we, we are women from all over the globe. We, 
We are different and unique in so many ways, you know, from our background, our culture, our religion. And it has been so lovely to be able to just listen, getting that opportunity to listen to one another, share with each other our experiences, and actually learn from each other so that we can work together to achieve a much better outcome. So, yeah, I think never stop learning. That's something I have definitely learned and that has empowered me. Uh, I know that Ireland is just the cutest. Like, she doesn't try to give these momentous answers. Is that even a word, momentous? I love how personalized her answer was. It was just really sincere and adorable. I love her so much. For Poland. For Poland. What is the most important discovery yet to be discovered? What is the most important discovery that hasn't been discovered yet that could be discovered, that you think? The most important discovery. I believe that this is no one, but every day we learn something new. And we all have unique experiences. And all of us can learn something about ourselves and to be more authentic and personal, what I've discovered is that it costs us so little to enrich the life of others. And this is the cost that we can all afford. And believe me, it's worth its price. So if you would like to discover something new, just try to learn to be rich more in empathy, in compassion, in gratitude, because we can all do it, as I mentioned before. We can all be great because everyone can serve. And this discovery seems, seems so simple, but it's actually life willing. Thank you. Poland didn't necessarily go in the direction that I was expecting. It wasn't necessarily bad. It just it wasn't expected, which could be a bad or a good thing, depending on who the judges are. I think, I think for Poland, it's going to be difficult to gauge whether or not her answer landed with the judges or not, because it's going to be dependent on who they are and what they were expecting from her. Final question for Mix Mexico. What would you say to the future generations about protecting the planet? Thank you for your question. I've always believed that child are the future of our world. Therefore, we need to really take care of them and share love. And something very important nowadays is also letting them know the importance of taking care of our planet. We take this planet for granted, but it is not. We enjoy nature. I personally love nature. And I think that what we really need to do is start from home. Everything is determined by home. Children's youth is the most determining age in someone's life. And therefore, everyone who is listening to me and all the children who surround you, we are all responsible for taking care of this planet. Thank you. Oh, Mexico. She was so nervous the first time she spoke as well. I'm surprised that she went through to top six because she's obviously so, so nervous. Okay, so for me, it's between Cote d'Ivoire and the United States. But at this point, who even knows what Miss World is going to do? The freaking live stream just ended last minute. I hate this so much. Miss World, please do better next time. Okay, okay, I found this guy. He's actually there. He's filming the crowning live. Okay, who, what is going on? Did Cote d'Ivoire win? Oh no, she's, I think she's second runner up. Okay, Cote d'Ivoire is second runner up. Okay, first runner up is. United States, my two favorites are the runners up, but United States was my second runner up in my prediction, so, but I would have liked for her to win as well, as well as Cote d'Ivoire, of course, now who's going to win then, if, uh, 
Who had the best answer? Poland? Poland, yeah. You guys know I talked about how how Poland's answer was a bit, you know, on the edge for me. Poland is the new Miss World? What? I'm a bit shocked by this edition of Miss World, to be honest with you guys. Um, <clears throat> yeah. But... Congratulations to Poland. I'll be replacing Tony Anne's picture as soon as we can get some good quality pictures of our new queen. Also, congratulations to Cote d'Ivoire for making second runner-up. You've made Africa very proud, as well as the United States. Um, you know, she's a personal, personal favorite of mine. So congratulations, Sheree. Definitely well-deserved that first runner-up placement and a big deal. Should something, God forbid, happen to make Poland not be Miss World anymore, Shri will obviously fill in for her, which, um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm just so disappointed in the Miss World organization. And I feel like this year's show was really underwhelming. And the fact that I've had to, you know, hunt for live streams plenty of times was also just not it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know your opinions in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.